Video out of rural Minnesota shows a man fleeing police after a reported assault with a gun at a nearby casino. There's a lot in this video, including a shooting, wrong way driver, life flight helicopter, car crash, and the story of a witness who survived the ordeal. But it all starts with the report of a domestic assault with a gun at a nearby casino. The incident all started over a disagreement over the temperature of the hotel room at the casino, with the suspect allegedly pressing a gun against the cheek of his girlfriend. He fled, apparently, with his meth and reportedly made statements he would use the handgun against police. Statements from his girlfriend suggest the suspect had a prior history of violent assaults, including an especially violent sexual assault. And prior to police initiating a stop, the suspect is already driving into oncoming traffic and waving a possible weapon out the window. Holding traffic, no cars. Person seen on Stephen Lexus, sir. 14, I'm about a mile from me, please, don't stop on the square. We're just coming over the left to south of the transfer station. Two nine five information on the AOA. We have not yet been requested. Ten four. I'm just heading that way northbound. Nine four twenty three. Do you want a surplus state? Yeah, we're just coming up to the hill by the transfer station. Copy. This is another squad urgently coming onto scene, showing you the reverse angle, and you'll see they're urgently trying to arrive on scene 
almost losing it here in a moment. This important video shows the first state trooper on scene. The trooper made contact with a female civilian who both witnessed the shooting and had the suspect crash into her head on. As you'll see, it was, of course, a truly traumatic experience for the driver who witnessed and experienced this shocking event as she's heading up north for the weekend. Are you guys good? Talk to her. Okay. She's really upset. Okay. okay. Settle right down. Now. Settle down. What's going on? <laughs> I'm scared. They were shooting in this direction. I got scared. Okay. 29 miles away. And then this car hit me. I don't know what to do. Okay. What I need you to do is I just need you to focus on your breathing, okay? Okay. Okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get to the crime scene photos shortly, but the deputy involved in the shooting gave a voluntary interview to investigators, stating the reason for the shooting was because he knew there was nowhere for the suspect to go other than driving into oncoming traffic on the freeway. It might be worth noting that this area had a recent wrong way fatal crash on the same stretch of freeway shown here in this report. We did interview the woman who the suspect crashed into. She felt the shooting was not justified. Ultimately, after extensive treatment at the scene, including CPR performed by one of the deputies, the suspect did not survive. The county prosecutor, in his decision, noted that the suspect was driving a Ford Expedition, a very large SUV weighing over 5,000 pounds, which posed a significant risk of great bodily harm had he continued going the wrong way on the freeway 